Hey everybody, I'm Lance Goyke, and today we're gonna to walk through four different variations of the left side lying knee toward knee uh, progression that I like to work through. Uh, so you are gonna need some equipment for this. Uh, this could be a wall or anything that's immovable. You need something to push your heels into. And you're gonna need two sets of towels. First one, we're gonna put in the corner of the floor and the wall. That allows us to rest your feet and gives you a little bit more range of motion. And then we're gonna use another one to put under your ab to tell your back what position to be into. Uh, so first, we're gonna lay on your side. And the first exercise in the progression is the scissor slides. So feet are on the wall. I'm gonna call this the wall, I think. <laughs> uh, feet are elevated on the bolster down there by your feet. You just wanna do this to make sure that you can feel a sensation of your heel kind of supported, okay? And then the other bolster is gonna go under your ab and you're just making a little rainbow arch over the top of it. Now, so, uh, progression number one is the scissor slide. So all we're gonna do for this one is we're gonna shift your knees uh, forward and backward, specifically your right knee is gonna go forward and backward. First step, you're gonna sigh, whoo, sigh out like your mom's making you clean your room. And then you're gonna push your left hip down into the ground. Whoo, and that should just kick on your left abs, side abs, just a bit. From here, I'm gonna breathe in and push the right knee ahead of the left one. And then exhale and bring it back. Trying to keep that left hip pushing down into the ground the whole time. And trying to keep some pressure of the left heel pushing into the wall. It's important here, if you're starting at progression one, you gotta get the breathing cadence down and you gotta get this little setup stuff right. So we're keeping pressure of the hip down, we're keeping pressure of the foot in the wall, but most importantly, you've gotta kinda slow the breathing down. So we breathe in through the nose, we don't go, right? It's kind of an easy breath, low resistance breath. And then we breathe out through the mouth, let all the air come out. You don't need to force it, but once you hit the end of your exhale, you're pausing. That allows the carbon dioxide to build up. Oftentimes we hyperventilate, we breathe off too much carbon dioxide. It's all part of the equation. So that was progression number one, the scissor slide. Progression number two in the knee toward knee progression is the knee to knee. So we're starting in the same position. What I like about this progression is you just add on little bits as we go. So we're basically gonna start with the same kind of scissor slide hip movement. We just wanna move the right uh, knee ahead so that it's stacked on top of the left knee. You're going to push the left hip down into the ground, get that ab. You're going to turn, turn to open the right knee up. And then you're going to do the same thing on the left. You're going to turn to bring the left knee up to the right knee. Now the weight of the right leg I gotta push my hip down some more. Yeah, there we go. So I was getting a little bit of quad hip flexor TFL. We don't want that. We wanna get some left outer hip. So the weight of the right leg is supported by the weight or the strength of the left inner thigh and left outer hip. So you should feel a muscle on the inside of the left thigh and a muscle on the outside of the left hip. If you feel like it's on the front of the left hip, then try to find that heel in the wall again. I gotta breathe. And try to keep that left hip pressing down. So I like to do that one for three sets of five breaths, probably five sets. If I'm sending you this exercise, I probably want you to do five sets of five breaths though. <laughs> um, okay, so that's number two. Number one was just the scissor slide. And then number two is the knee to knee. Now number three is the knee toward knee. The only difference here is, I mean, we're moving the same way, but you're not getting the left knee all the way up to the right knee. So I'm gonna sigh out. I'm gonna push my left hip down on the ground. I've got my feet in the wall down there. I'm gonna align my knees. 
I'm going to turn the right one up, and then I'm going to turn the left one up toward, but not to it. Just looking for those knees to stay in line in the same plane. And then we just hold for breaths. So on this one, you should start to feel more right outer hip, right glute, right buttock area. Because now the left knee is not supporting that knee. The right glute has to help. Keeping that left hip down on the ground. This should help us feel that left inner thigh with the right glute and feel that left outer hip as well. I'm actually getting a lot of left ab as well. So pick what you need to focus on. It's good to feel left ab, but I don't necessarily need you to focus on it because there's only so much attention that you can put your, put your brain on. Um, I do like to feel right glute. I do like to feel left inner thigh and I do like to feel left outside hip. So what I would suggest doing as this, this one is a little bit more complex than what we've done, right? I want you to cycle through those muscles. So I'm holding that position. I'm like, do I feel the right glute? Good. And then I exhale and then I'm like, do I feel the left inner thigh? Good. And then I pause and then I say, do I feel the left outer hip? Good. Okay. And you just cycle through them all because it's easy to, as you breathe, your body is moving. And so it's easy to change position and you'll feel things differently. Uh, that was number three. So number one was the scissor slide. Number two was the knee to knee. Number three was the knee toward knee. And I know what you're thinking, that's the name of the progression, so aren't we done? Uh, no, actually, we're gonna do a fourth one that's just gonna throw a little bit more complexity so you can time your breath and your movement. Um, so it is the same thing. I'm gonna exhale, push the left hip down into the ground. Knees are stacked. We're gonna turn the, the right knee up. We're gonna turn the left knee up to meet it. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna raise both knees as you breathe in, making sure they stay apart from one another. We exhale and hold it. And then on the next breath, we're gonna let them fall while we breathe in. hold it and exhale. Then we're just repeating. So it's really important that the knees stay apart here. You should feel the same muscles that right glute, left inner thigh, and left outer hip. That one gets more and more intense. Um, if you start to feel like you're using your neck to do stuff, you gotta stop. If you start to feel like you're arching your back to do stuff, or you feel your left TFL or quad, or even the right one, uh, you gotta stop. If you're starting right away and you're not getting it, it could mean that you're not in the right position, but it could also mean that you just need a few breaths for the muscles to kind of calm down. I've seen as, as many as three sets be required to start feeling the right muscles. Oftentimes we don't feel the right muscles because the muscles we're trying to shut off are really stubborn and really on, and they turn off the muscles that we're trying to turn on. Okay, so that was the four of the left sideline knee toward knee progression. So the first one was the scissor slides. Second one was the knee to knee. Third one was the knee toward knee. And then the fourth one was the knee toward knee with trunk rotation. So as I breathe in, my knees come up and come down. Good luck. <sighs>